Studies have shown that 78% of farmland in western Kenya is infested with a striga weed. Striga, also known as witchweed, is prevalent in counties in western Kenya. Striga is a problem. It infests areas between 1100 meters to 1500 meters above sea level. Striga is most damaging to the crop before emerging from the soil. It attaches itself to the roots of host plants and proceeds to siphon the nutrients and water intended for plant growth. This action stunts the plant, causing withering and thereby resulting in grain yield losses. The sky is too much here and it has been a thorn in the place for farmers around here. In view of the destructive nature of the strigoweed on maize production in Kenya, the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, AATF in short, is participating in a public-private partnership to deploy strigoway maize, which is resistant to the lethal weed, to smallholder farmers. The Imazapa resistant or IR maize technology involves strigoway IR maize seed with a low dose of Imazapa herbicide. Small quantities of Imazapa act before or at the time of striga attachment to the maize roots and prevents phytotoxic effect of striga on the maize plant. Imazapa that is not absorbed by the maize seedling diffuses into the surrounding soil and kills ungerminated striga seeds in its vicinity. However, any residual Imazapa left in the soil is completely broken down two to three months after planting. Initially, the Striga Control Project engaged in intensive awareness creation events in Nyanza and Western provinces. Extensive on-farm testing of ordinary maize and the new Strigawi IR variety on farmers' fields under Striga infestation found that the new variety yields were three times those of ordinary maize. Besides, IR technology controls striga before emergence and lowers the striga seed bank in the soil, whereas other technologies control striga after emergence when it has already done damage to the crop. So the adoption of strigaway maize seed will lead to increased acreage under maize and increased yield and income. With increased incomes, farmers will be able to purchase strigaway maize seed for the following planting season. Widespread repeat purchases will lead to increased demand for the seed, which will as such attract private sector involvement to meet the demand. The acreage of maize now increased after having the field days and even several demos. They realized they needed this maize so that they get good harvest from their farm. We are looking at uh, you know, at least a thousand tons of seed being availed within the next two to three years so that farmers can plant this uh, material and benefit from its uh, you know, advantage and its prolificness in controlling the striker weed. ATF comes in as a bridge and then creates uh, channels that uh, farmers can access these technologies that can help small hold farmers improve their food production. Oh, we want to thank the partnership we have had in here, which includes the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, the International Center uh, for Improvement of Wheat and Maize Summit and IIT. Then the company that developed, they, they donated the technology called BSF. All these have really packaged that, the technology together to make it work. The African Agricultural Technology Foundation we would like to appeal for support on behalf of our farmers to avail this resource to smallholder farmers in Kenya. Your support will help resource-challenged smallholder farmers in Kenya access strikeaway maize seed and lift themselves out of hunger and extreme poverty.